The Honorable Mulder. Speaker, the song, Now You Have Touched the Women, You Have Struck a Rock, will always be part of the ANC's Women's March to the Union Buildings in 1956. When they arrived at the Union Buildings, the Prime Minister was not willing to meet them. But sir, there had been more women marches to the Union Buildings. In 1915, 6,000 Afrikaner women delivered the petition for the release of General Christian de Wet, one of the heroes of the Anglo-Boer or South African War. The then Prime Minister General Jan Smits was not willing to meet them. Again in 1940, 10,000 Afrikaner women also marched to the Union Building for peace. They were also ignored by the government. Speaker, it is sad that we still debate the issue of the empowerment of women in the year 2017. This issue should have been solved long ago. My wife is a teacher and she summarizes these issues with a quote in a classroom wall that says, anything women do today, they must do twice as well as men to be thought half as good. Luckily, this is not difficult. I will today also call to bring on African women, on their innerlijke kracht and sterkte, and their role in the geschiedenis. Te makkelijk wordt door sommige geschiedkijvers as slechts onderdanig en zwak voorgesteld. So in any struggle, women and children are usually the ones suffering the most. You know, by the end of the Anglo-Boer War, or the South African War in 1902, there were 160,000 Afrikaner women and children, and 130,000 black people in British concentration camps. In total, 32,000 of these people, Afrikaner people, and approximately 20,000 black people died in those British concentration camps. That is 10 times more Afrikaner women and children than the number of men that had died on the battlefield. So my grandmother was one of those in the British camps, and she always referred to it as the English war because she said the British had caused the war as part of British colonialism. To the voortrekker mans in 1843 besluit om nie meer weerstand te bied tegen Britse kolonialisme en natal nie, het die vrouwe onder leiding van Susanna Smit ontplof en gesê, hulle sal liever kaalvoet door die Drakensberge loop as om weer hulle vrijheid prijs te gee en weer onder Britse bewind te wees. Interessant, die verengelste kapenaar, Henry Kloete, wat namens die Britse regering met die voortrekkers onderhandel het, was geskok dat hier die Afrikaanse vrouwe soveel vrijheid toegelaat word. Hy skryf in sy dagboek, These women are a disgrace to their husbands. Vandaag is ons trots op hulle dapperheid. Mevrouw, wat is standbeeld is die centrale beeld by die voortrekmonument? Wat het die architect gekies om daar te plaas? Die architect het besluit om een vrouw die centrale figuur te maak oor die belangrike rol wat hulle in die geschiedenis gespeel het, en ek nooi om saam uit te kom, wat ek kan wees so lekker daar. En dit was in die 1930s, wat het opgerug is, een vrou met haar twee kinders. Speaker, Women's Day should celebrate and commemorate the role and struggle, not only of ANC women, but of all women in South Africa's history. I thank you.